Hello, what's up YouTube? Ronnie Sweet and Actual. And in this tutorial, I want to show you how to easily color grade your images in Photoshop and how you can easily save the color grading as a preset or as a LUT in Photoshop. So this is going to be a two-in-one tutorial. First of all, I'll show you how I got the look for this very image taken by No the Law, and I'm going to link his Instagram in the description of this video so that you guys can check him out on Instagram. He is an amazing photographer, so enough of it. We just want to get this look simply within Photoshop and later on save it as a preset or as a LUT to color grade images faster later on in our workflow within Photoshop. So let me just delete that so that we can start from the very start for the color grading process. So before you can create your LUT or any preset, always make sure that you only have one layer within your Photoshop, which is the background layer. The reason for that is because when you have a number of layers right here open or groups, it means that the LUT is not going to be saved very well and you're going to be having issues later on when you're trying to save it. So always make sure to have only one layer right here. So after that, you're just going to come to the adjustments and you're going to come to hue and saturation. And under that, you have to take into consideration that the colors within the skin tone are usually the reds and the yellows. So we just want to handle the reds and yellows within this image. So I'm going to come to the master and I'm going to come to the reds. So under reds, I'm going to simply come to the hues of the reds and I'm going to slightly make them a little bit red because I feel like the skin tones were a little bit to the yellow side. So I round negative four is good. And I'm going to take the lightness slightly down and that is going to slightly harmonize the reds and cool them down and add a little bit of contrast within the reds. So that looks great. So I'm going to come the saturation also and I'm going to slightly desaturate the reds in this image just like that. After all negative 10 is good. I'm going to come to the yellows now because I feel like this is a little bit distracting and taking the attention from uh, the model so i'm just going to come the saturation right here and i'm going to desaturate that and i will have a little bit more attention onto the model and i'm going to come the lightness still and i'm going to take it down slightly then after doing that now you can start we have now condensed the skin tones and now the skin is getting to look a little bit more natural and realistic so the next thing that we want to do we're just going to come right down here and we're going to come and create a black and white adjustment layer so what that does it is going to add a little bit more of the contrast so when you create a black and white adjustment layer just come the blend mode and change it from normal to multiply and simply come the opacity and we're going to knock down or reduce on the opacity because that was a little bit too much or intense so at around eight we are good to go then we're going to come back and create one more black and white adjustment layer and this time around we're going to leave the blend mode to normal but just come the opacity and just drop down the opacity so we're just trying to desaturate the image in this case and that looks great then we're going to come and create one more hue and saturation adjustment layer <coughs> and we're going to come and target the reds even more so i feel like we want to play around with the reds in the hues so i'm just going to take this a little bit towards the right hand side up to around two looks great and i'm going to come back to the lightness and simply take the lightness down to around negative 16 and that looks great to me then we're going to come and create one more adjustment layer which is the color balance and under color balance i just want to add a little bit of colors within the highlights first of all so i feel like i want to add a little bit of green within the highlights just a little bit up to around five five looks good and i'm going to come the shadows and i'm going to add a little bit of a bluish feel to the shadows just like that but that shouldn't be too much so i'm just going to add a little bit of the blues up to around two and add a little bit of science to my shadows just slightly to around 
negative 2 and this is the look I prefer for this very image so we are done color grading the image so after you have color graded the image just want to save this as a preset to use later on on future images so what we're going to do let's first of all see a before and after I'm going to hold down alternate and show you the before and after for the color grading for this image so just want to save this look as a preset or as a LUT. so when you're done color grading and you have all your layers for the color grading process simply come right here to file then you are going to come right down here to export and after that just come to lookup tables just right here color lookup tables and after that just come and you can add the description for your lot and always make sure that the grid point is 32 and medium is selected and cube is also checked right here because we want the lot to load easily in photoshop so just come and hit ok and right now you have to choose where you want to save your lot so i'm just i'm just going to save my lot on the desktop and i'm going to rename my lot to whatever i want so i'm going to name it to melanin melanin lat melanin 2022 lat and i'm going to simply hit save and it's going to take a few seconds and it's going to uh, be saved so the lat has been saved so we want to see if at all this is going to be effective on this image later on so i'm just going to use shift and i'm going to delete this and i'm going to come to the adjustments and i come to color lookup then come to 3d LUT file and I'm going to come to load 3D LUT file and simply click that and I'm going to come to my LUT or what I saved it or the location where I saved my LUT so I named it to melanin so it is right here and I'm going to simply hit open and you can see it has simply applied the color grading with just a single click so this is the before after before after and when you feel like it's a little bit too much just come the opacity and simply reduce on the opacity of your light so that's the before and the after before after before after so basically that is how to color grade your images within photoshop and also how to save the color grading as a light within photoshop and this is all for today's story and if at all you have loved this don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed this channel Ronix from Ronix Photography thank you for watching I'll see you in yet more amazing shows and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.